Hello guys, welcome back to my video. So this is our third class of Adobe Illustrator. And in this video, we will learn about the direct selection tool and the group selection tool. So let's start our video. Before starting, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get instant notifications for my new videos. And if you want to support this channel financially, then my Patreon link is in the description of this video. As you guys know that in the last class we have learned about the selection tool and the next tool are the direct selection tool and the group selection tool and in this video we will learn about the direct selection tool and the group selection tool so first we will discuss about the direct selection tool so before using I have to draw some shapes so let's draw a line segment by using the line segment tool you can draw a straight line by pressing and hold the shift key on your keyboard now there is no stroke and no fill color in this line segment so as you can see this when I select the direct selection tool then this blue line is called as stroke and there are two endpoints these endpoints are called as anchor points so if I fill color in this line like the default colors the fill is white and the stroke is black no. by using the direct selection tool you can select any anchor point individually and you can change its position size and shapes like this so now if I draw a square by using the square tool and now if I select the direct selection tool then there are four anchor points in a square first second third and the fourth and in the square you can make many abstract designs by using the direct selection tool select the anchor point and move it where you want the direct selection tool is used to make monograms logos to make abstract designs now there is a thing that when you zoom in you can see this that there is a circle this circle is used to curve the corners of any shape like this you can select these points individually also and you can move that point by making a curve so let's draw a rectangle tool and a ellipse tool now select the direct selection tool now as you can see this that the square has the four anchor points and the circle is also has the four anchor points but when you click on the anchor point it will show handles and you can make different designs by using these handles like this And now if you want to add these handles to our scale tool then select the scale and if you right click on your pen tool then it will open more tools and there is an anchor point tool by using the anchor point tool you can add handles like this to your scale 
just click and hold and drag it will add hang handles and you can do amazing shapes by using the direct selection tool now let's try it on the other shapes like polygon tool polygon tool you can do abstract shapes so let's open star tool and with star tool when you click once then it will ask you the points so let's add four points now as you can see this that there are four anchor points there are four anchor points in this square but if I want to move this this square from the mid then there is no anchor point in the mid so if I want to add the anchor point in the mid of this square then click here right click here and then there are two options add anchor point tool and delete anchor point tool as the name shows that the add anchor point tool is used to add anchor points in the shapes and delete anchor point is used to delete anchor points first we will add some anchor points in this square simply click here and it will add the anchor point in the square now select this and you can move this freely And by using the delete anchor point tool you can delete just click on the anchor point it will delete that anchor point like this so at the end of this video we will design a logo by using the direct selection tool and some shapes so now the next tool is the group selection tool as the name shows that the group selection tool is used to select the groups now what is the groups the groups are now if I draw some shapes here So now these, there are four shapes, first, second, third and the fourth. Now if I select these both shapes and I, when I move these shapes, then these shapes moves both. But when I deselect these shapes, then I again move, then only the one shape will move. Now select these two shapes and go to object and there is group the shortcut is control G and now these two shapes are in one group now whenever you move these shapes the both shapes will move let's add an other shape in this group now go to object select the group now these three shapes are in one group now there are two groups the first group of these two shapes and the second is of these three shapes now add also add this polygon on these shapes select all go to object then group now there are four groups in these shapes the first of these two shapes the second of these three shapes and the fourth is the, and the third is of these four shapes now if I click by using the selection tool 
then it will select the all the whole group it means the all shapes now if we want to move this circle from here then it will move the whole group here the group selection tool helps now by using the group selection tool when I select the circle then it will only move the circle or the square or the polygon or the star I can also change the color of any shape like this now by using the group, group selection tool I can resize any shape in a group I can change its position I can change its colors but after making these adjustments when I select our selection tool and then I select this then the whole shapes are in the group so the group selection tool is used to select is used to select or change the position color or the size of an object in a group so I hope you guys will understand the direct selection tool and the group selection tool so now we will make a logo by using our direct selection tool so let's design a logo for a company so let's say design a logo for a property business First, if I make a square like this, and let's say I rotate it in the 45 degree. Now, by using the direct selection tool, so let's say move this anchor like this. Now let's say make another square, select this, now delete an anchor point from this. So let's delete this one, select the direct selection tool, now zoom in, select this and anchor point and move it here. select the direct selection tool and select these anchor points and move it like this now put it here like this So let's select a rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this. Sorry about that. So let's add an anchor point here and here. And delete these anchor points. I want to make this curve round so move it up like this and now let's fill the colors 
here you can write the text Let's fill some colors in this logo. So let's make this logo in one group. Select the whole logo and then press Ctrl G. So for now, this is our logo. But I know that we can make more amazing logos and creative logos than this. But for now, you can practice. Yes, yes. So I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. If yes, then tell me in the comment section of this video. And we can also use 3D mockups to give our logo a new look and an attractive look. I have already made a video on the mockups in Photoshop. So check the link to watch that video. And there are free mockups for you guys. So watch that video and get that free mockup for Photoshop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If yes, then tell me in the comment section of this video. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And press that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos. Goodbye.